All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom to all you sincere hearted true believers. All right, with today's lesson, I'm going to go into uh, don't overlook the milk, right? You know, because I understand there's like a lot of new brothers and for brothers that been in it a little while, you know, like me, myself, you know, I, I've been in, you know, knowing that I'm an Israelite since 2016, but actively teaching on the street, I'm going on four years. It'll be four years in October of 2023, if we even make it that far, right? So it's like three years and some change actively teaching. And, you know, just as a little quick testimony, when you first start out, you're not going to be sharp. You know, you might not be, you know, uh, 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 real eloquent and, you know, breaking it down certain scriptures or, you know, uh, using like these, you know, deep precepts. And that's all a part of the process. And a lot of times that'll get some brothers, you know, uh, 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 discouraged, you know, not being able to like, you know, break certain stuff down and diff different things like that. And, you know, may not be able to like, you know, uh, uh, you know, have a certain utterance of the spirit as brothers that you, you know, may have came in listen, listening to and things like that. But just to, just to, you know, in my personal experience, it all comes with time. And I remember when I came in, you know, brothers would tell me that. And I was like, damn, but for real, you know, because at that point you living in, you, you at that moment in time, you see what I'm saying? But definitely like anything, it does take time. And one way to help your growth is definitely to stick to the milk, right? The basic scriptures, the fundamental scriptures, right? You know, uh, based on like salvation, you know, because you got to be able to prove who salvation is for, you know, you know, oftentimes when you're trying to teach this word to somebody, they're going to try to contend. You need to know scriptures that that show that salvation is all only for Israel. The color scriptures. How do you prove that the Israelites are, are, are a certain color right now? You know, you may not come to a, a, a debate or anything like that, but it's still like good to, to know these things. Right. Because it helps you be fully persuaded in your own mind. Right. That this is what, you know, brothers are teaching that it is. You know what I mean? So I got this scripture for you right here. Uh, Hebrews chapter five, verse 12, it says for one four. It's like for when a time when you ought to be teachers. Right. Because the point is right for you, brothers, you know, in this ministry and then also for the sisters as well. You know, you want to uh, be, you know, persuaded in your own mind as well. Right. Stick to the milk. It, it, you know, it definitely it'll help you understand. When you get the milk down pack and you hear brothers break down deeper scriptures, you'll actually understand it better than somebody who doesn't have the milk down pack, right? Because the fundamentals of those deep scriptures is milk explained in a deeper way a lot of times, you know, sometimes, right? But it did just help you. So <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12, for when four, it's like for when the time when you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the heavenly father and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Right. So basically you'll see how in the scriptures oftentimes, right. The, the scriptures is likened unto like, you know, honey, you know, uh, which is something that like, you know, you can consume or like food or something like that, like bread or water, you know, different things like that. So when it's talking about this right now, in this sense, right, it's talking about the, the, the fundamental scriptures as the milk, right? Things that are easily digest, right? Now, when you're uh, when you first come into the truth, you're more like a, a a spiritual babe, right? Because you have to put off that old man and you have to become new. So this is something new for you, right? And and becoming uh, and, and being something new, accepting a new way of life, a new way of thinking, right? A new way of living. Right. You're going to have to take baby steps. Right. And if you jump straight into it. Right. Which is like with a child. If there's a, if, if you have a baby, you don't feed that baby uh, a steak dinner right from the beginning. Right. You got to let that baby, you know, build up in strength, you know, get, you know, get they get the adult teeth and, you know, have their stomach be able to actually handle solid foods. Right. Because some things in the scriptures are very, very like deep and different from the way that you're used to living. So trying to consume it too early, you might get offended. Right. At certain scriptures like, whoa, I don't agree with that. That's off. Whoa. When it's not actually off, you just you're like, you know, a lot of times because we're raised over here in a Western mindset, you know, you have to adjust your mind to a Eastern mindset in a way which these scriptures were actually written. Right. In an Eastern mindset. So reading this again, it says for for when for when the time when you ought to be teachers. Right. Because brothers want to be teachers. You know, you should you should strive to be, you know, teaching and different things like that. If you if you're able to right? if that's your lot, 
you need you have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the heavenly father and become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. So don't try to con consume the, the revelations and deep, the deep, dark secrets of, you know, G Genesis, the first chapter, trying to go all into it. You know, I mean, listen, you know, you know, if, if you get it, hey, but I advise brothers sticks to like the history. That's where I started. I started off in the history. Helps you get a good foundation. Right. Get some precepts in the New Testament. A lot of those uh, 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 scriptures uh, uh, for the for, you know, the milk are in the Old Testament as well. You know, first Samuel, second Samuel. That's where I started out at first Samuel, second Samuel. I remember I started off in Genesis, the 13th chapter, and then you work to work my way up, you know, uh, another 10 and then another 10 chapters and another 10. It, you know, it, it's very good. I advise brothers if they're going to start brothers and sisters start at Genesis, the 13th chapter and then work their way up. All the way to the end of the uh, the book of Genesis. There's a lot of great history in there. A lot, right? You understand how how we even got into Egypt, right? So it's just a lot of different things that I'm just more so. This this video is just on like advice for like brothers and sisters like newly come into the faith and that 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 want to continue to grow and continue to abound in the ministry because that's what it really is about. Reading on in verse 13, it says, For everyone that uses uh, milk is unskillful in the word, but a, 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 of righteousness, for he is a babe, right? Because when you first come into this, you're a babe, right? Everybody goes to that stage. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, right? Because as you continue to grow in this ministry, your discernment grows uh, as well, right? But then also, it's saying that the strong meat, which the deep, the deep, dark secrets, right? Lead those, you know, uh, um, Ultimately, lead those to uh, uh, brothers who are a little bit more seasoned, right, to, to you know, uh, that, that been in it around to go ahead and handle those things. And then when it comes your time, if we even hear, then, then hey, do what you got to do. Right. But don't feel like you got to be forced to jump into that. Do it. You know, stay in your lane, you know, and it ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with that. You still get a crown for that. You see. Right. As long as you keeping the law, statutes and commandments of the heavenly father. Right. You, 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 you know, you going in the scriptures, precept upon precept, you accurate, accurately breaking down the things that the heavenly fathers put on your spirit to, to go into, then by all means, break that, break that thing down and, and, and use what the heavenly father then gave you. Right. And like the parable of the talents, the heavenly father, he'll bless you with more talents. You see. Right. So let me go ahead and grab this. Um, <clears throat> because also another thing that I want to, uh, by pulling this up, let me see where I want. Yeah. By pulling this up also. You have um, you have teachers in this ministry, right? Because Jake will come in, and then a lot of times, you know, when being a babe, you have to understand you got to humble yourself down to actually be taught, right? Because you have, you know, of course, our people are very stiff necked and stubborn, right? Coming to that, uh, coming to the truth with a mindset that they don't want to be taught, or you really can't tell them anything. That's not the mindset that you want to have, right? Because ultimately, we all need teachers. You see what I'm saying? So there's nothing wrong with asking a question about this or asking a question about that. If anything, the Heavenly Father, he'll, he'll bestow blessings upon you for even, you know, and, and one of the blessings will be an increase in the spirit, increase in knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Why? Because you humbled yourself. Right. So <clears throat> I got this right here. Acts 31. I'm going to start at verse uh, verse 29. The spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. So the spirit Put it, uh, put into Philip's spirit to go into uh, preach into this Ethiopian eunuch who was a, uh, uh, I believe he was an Israelite, right? It says, and Philip ran thither to him and heard uh, him read the prophet Isaiah and and said, understand what thou readest. So basically, Philip said, you understand what you're reading, because the you know he was reading the uh, the prophet Isaiah, and and, and he replied, uh, verse thirty one, and he said, how can I except some man should guide me? He desired he desired Philip that he would uh, come up and sit with him. So the point is, right, me, myself, I needed teachers coming to this thing. And then when somebody feels like they, 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 they don't need to be taught or you really can't tell them anything, that's a person that's really going to have a hard time in this ministry and their growth is really going to be stagnant, man, right? It's really going to be slowed or no growth at all, right? Because in, in order to grow into this ministry, like it says in John 3 and 27, a man can receive nothing unless it be given to him from heaven. Right. So the heavenly father has to give you an increase of knowledge. Right. And now ultimately, who is the heavenly father uh, 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 dealing with? Right. Let me go ahead and grab this in the book of James, the fourth chapter. Right. Who is he dealing with and who is he not dealing with? James chapter four and verse six. But he giveth more grace. 
wherefore uh wherefore he said the heavenly father resisteth the proud right because that's a proud spirit to come in you feel like can't nobody tell you nothing right no you have to come into this truth like a babe right and understand all right well i'm gonna take my time with this you know and, and with some brothers some brothers might have to go through the milk like one time and then boom zoom right through it you know it's all a, it's all according to the measure of faith that the heavenly father is giving you right and that's all you can deal with right so uh, it says the heavenly father resisted the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Right. So that's the point, man. You know, when you when you show humbleness in this in this in this in this truth in this ministry, the heavenly father really rewards you for that, man. Right. So don't so you know that, that that's the type of spirit that you want to be in. You know, when, when coming into this truth and maintaining in this ministry, a humble a humble mindset, man. Right. So let me go ahead and um, is this is this what I wanted? Yeah, Colossians chapter two and verse seven. Right. It says because you want to be also right with the with, with, with the fundamental scriptures will do. Right. Let every man be persuaded. Let me get that. Let every man be persuaded. Right. Because you want to be rooted and grounded. Right. Rooted and grounded. Being deep, deeply rooted and grounded is like a, a, a tree. Right. Essentially, when you plant a tree in the ground or a seed in the ground. The easiest time to uh, uproot that that particular uh, plant, right, is when it's first growing, right. But when that when that when that plant grows into a a nice big oak tree, right, and it has its is you know roots deeply implanted into the ground, you can't uproot that thing, right. And that's how you want to be. You want to be unmovable in this truth, man, right. Always abounding, right. Like it says, uh, matter of fact, let me just grab it, and I'm gonna come back there. I don't want to rot his eye. Uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 54, right? 57, it says, But thanks be to the Heavenly Father, which giveth us the victory through Adawan Nawa, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of Adawan. For, for, as you, uh, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. So the point is you want to be unmovable to the point where you can't be up, uh, up, uprooted. And one way for that to happen is you have to be fully persuaded in your mind that this is the truth. Right. Because you'll also like and this happened to me as well. When I first came in, you'll see scriptures. Right. That you'll already know our salvation is only for Israel. But then it, it'll sound like this this particular scripture. If you go to the New Testament, it might say like, oh, right, well, yeah, for, for everybody or something like that. And that might shake you up because you might not know how to break that down. Right. And you having a spirit where you don't want to ask a question because you don't want to look stupid. Ain't nobody about to look at you like you stupid if, if you asking the right person. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got you, bro. Or another brother be like, yeah, 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 I got you, right? Oftentimes, that, that's how it is, right? Ain't nobody about to look at you stupid if that's if, if that person is, if, if the person you, like, listening to is, like, of the right spirit, they shouldn't look at you like you stupid for asking a question, you see? Right? So that's the point, man. Ain't nothing wrong with asking questions. Uh, but right here, you want to be deeply rooted. You want to be uh, uh, fully persuaded in your own mind. And one way to do that, right, is to also ask questions, get taught. And it also go over these fundamental scriptures because that'll help prove in your own mind anything that Satan tries to pop in your head and make you think, yeah, see, look, that ain't true. This ain't true. That ain't true. Right. It casts out those demons. Right. Romans chapter 14 and verse five, it says one man esteem of one day above another. Every man esteem of every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind that this is the truth. I can't help. I can't make you believe you have to believe for yourself. And ultimately, the Heavenly Father has to give you that spirit of belief to actually believe, man. Right. And also, who, how, who, who's the Heavenly Father going to reward uh, 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 with that type of faith? Those who diligently seek him. Right. And you got to believe that as long as you diligently seek him, he's going to bestow great, uh, great, great faith upon you, man. Right. Great faith in you. Right. To be fully persuaded in your own mind. So that way, then you could be deeply rooted. Right. Let me go ahead and grab this. Um, Colossians chapter two, verse seven, let your root, uh, this is an NLT, let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught, right? So you have to be taught, right? And you will overflow with thankfulness. And why and I can, I can attest to this. And many brothers can attest to this sisters. We can all, uh, you know, everybody can attest to this. We all can attest to this, right? When you like when you first like come in and then you and you get this knowledge, you like, dang, man, I'm just so thankful to ha just have this wisdom, knowledge and understand. Just imagine you continuing to grow. You're going to be even more thankful knowing that you what you know. Right. Knowing uh, how to operate in life. Right. Imagine. Imagine. Um, It's like, uh, you know, how you know where you, you at where you at now. And then you look back on your life. You're like, damn, if only I knew what I know now back then. Right. But then 
it gets to a certain point where you're, 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 you're happy for everything that you done went through and this ministry. And you're happy that the Heavenly Father has you at the level of knowledge that he has you now and being able to operate and not being, you know, uh, caught up like the rest of the people. And it is this folly, that folly. It's just it's like a deep. I can't really explain it, but uh, it's just like a deep appreciation for, for the wisdom, knowledge and understanding that the Heavenly Father has bestowed upon you. Right. And, I, and I'm sure it only gets uh, uh, deeper and deeper, uh, a more deeper and deeper appreciation as you go along. Right. Because that's what that's what's happened so far for me. Right. But ultimately, this is just showing you, man, don't don't overlook that milk, brothers, sisters. You know, I'm telling you, stick to that history, you know, get get, you know, get, you know, uh, get get certain precepts down pat. And then when you read in history, you'll hear, oh, this is that precept that this brother be pulling. Oh, this is where the brother. Oh, this. Is and then like because a lot of times when I used to listen to brothers, you know, uh, uh, teach and I used to hear their lessons, I didn't really understand everything that they said until I went to go read things for myself. And read. I'm like, oh, snap, this is what this brother was actually referring to. I remember that. Oh, that's what he meant by that. Because you might think a brother might mean something until you actually know exactly what scripture he's talking about and understand it for yourself. You see? And then it has a deep, it's a deeper level of appreciation, right? But, and that's what I'm saying. So make sure you get the history because this is our, this is our heritage, right? You want to know about our history of our forefathers. And it also is great wisdom in the things that they, you know, done went through that, you know, they sharing with us. That's our that's our records. You got to look at it like that. These are our records, right? Historical uh, uh, records of our fathers, man. So we ought to know these things, right? Just as Esau knows his history of different generals and presidents and whatnot. We ought to know the different history of our of our different kings, man. That's what the book of Kings is on, right? First Samuel, second Samuel, right? King David coming into power, Samuel the prophet. You know how he how he got brought up, and you know uh, 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 all that stuff, man. Like it's 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 very important. You know Ruth. You know the I believe she was the grandmother uh, to Yahweh Shai, right? So there's a lot of different like scriptures and chapters that you know uh, 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 books that you know brothers and sisters need to read it, and it definitely helps you get rooted and grounded, man. And those history books are very very uh, enjoyable to read. You know, get you stirred up. You know, sometimes it might make you, you know, tear up, make you real happy, you know, make you like, damn, Israel, what the, what the hell is going on? Why y'all do this? You know, make you get frustrated with Jake. You know, it's a whole mix of emotions, man. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to end off there. But, you know, you know, I, I don't want to write this out. A point was made, man. You know, stick, you know, definitely make sure you rooted and grounded in that milk. Don't don't overlook it. You know, um. You know, I don't want to write this out. You sincere hearted true believers who found this uh, lesson to be edifying, exhorting, and comforting. And with that, I want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to you sincere hearted true believers. Shalom.